Before we go ahead and do a blower door test, we need to set up the frame, panel, fan, and other components. We then have to configure the system to ensure accurate measurements. The blower door frame has five main components as shown here. The two longer pieces are the side pieces and you'll see that each of these has a, uh, a rubber gasket on, the, on one side and the ends are different. One end has a adjustable knob and a cam lever. We have two shorter pieces, each of which have beveled ends or angled ends and each, each of these also has an adjustment knob and a cam lever. The final piece is the crossbar and the crossbar is identified by the hooks on each end and the crossbar also has an adjustment knob and a cam lever. So let's go ahead and set up our blower door frame. I prefer to do this on the floor. Uh, for me it's a little bit easier. And a couple things to remember is that when you're going to put the, the frame together, make sure that your adjustment knobs and levers are facing up uh, when placed on the floor. And also make sure that each of your frame components is at its shortest length and locked in position with the adjustment knob. So, it's pretty simple to put together. Uh, each, um, each bottom and top piece has a, uh, a recess or a hole in it and that's going to fit a bullet that's on the side piece. So we simply uh, depress the bullet on the side piece and slide the frame components together like that. And then I find it easier if I put the bottom and top pieces on first. So here I'll slide this one on. So now I've got one side, the bottom and top in place, and then I simply just do the same for the, uh, for the other side piece. Note the position of the cam levers. This is the disengaged position, and this is where these cam levers should be when you're assembling the frame. And now we have the, the basic frame components together. Now you can go ahead and put the cross piece in now if you'd like. Uh, I wait and I put it on after I've got the frame in place and the panel on the frame. Run your green reference hose outside and at least five feet to the side of the doorway. In windy or breezy conditions, you may have to shield the end of the hose with a bucket or some other implement. Make sure the hose is not pinched. Once the frame is assembled, I want to make sure that the tightening knobs are tight to prevent frame components from extending. Now I want to pre-fit the frame into the doorway. Once I have it pre-fit, adjusted appropriately and tightened, I'm going to remove it from the doorway, install the blower door panel, and then reinstall the entire assembly. Make sure when you install it in the doorway that the adjustment knobs are facing inwards towards the house. Note that the reference hose is already outside. And the first thing I'm going to do is align this on one side of the doorway. So I've aligned it to this side here. I'm going to loosen the adjustment knobs for the side to side movement of the frame. And holding this side to the uh, side of the doorway, I'm going to extend this side over and tighten the adjustment knob. I'm going to do the same thing here. Tighten the adjustment knob. Now I want to make the adjustment top to bottom. Loosen each side. I find it helpful to gently put my foot on the bottom of the frame just to prevent it from moving up. Extend the frame up to the uh, top of the doorway and adjust 
the adjustment knobs, and it should be a fairly firm fit, but it doesn't have to be really tight. The frame is now pre-fit into the doorway. I want to keep it adjusted this way, so I'm simply just going to pull it out and um, get ready to put the panel on the frame. And as was the case with the frame, I installed the panel onto the blower door frame on the floor. So let's go through installing the panel on the door frame. Install the crossbar approximately 6 to 8 inches above the panel opening. The location should allow the fan to sit about 2 inches above the floor. Once the crossbar's cam lever is engaged, the crossbar should fit tightly in the blower door frame. Verify that the blower door frame and panel fit tightly in the door frame. Once the blower door frame and panel are in place, this is when you should bring your reference hose in through the port on the panel to the interior of the building. Bring in enough hose to comfortably reach the DG700 pressure gauge. The fan should be suspended approximately two inches above the ground. The pressure gauge can be attached to the blower door frame using the mounting board and the hanger bar. Attach the green hose to the reference port on channel A. Attach one end of the red hose to the input port on channel B. The other end of the red hose should be attached to the port on the fan body. Note that the fan controller has been attached to the mounting board. Make sure the controller knob is all the way in the off position prior to plugging in the unit to the fan and the wall. Now that the system is set up, let's explore basic blower door operations. 